Hi, my name is Phil Beckhoff, and I'm a research scientist on malaria modeling here at Intellectual Ventures Lab. Hi, and my name is Karina Nigmatilina, and I'm a project scientist on the malaria modeling project. Right now, there's a global campaign to eradicate malaria once and for all. There are many questions that are raised when planning such a campaign, and careful mathematical modeling can help answer these questions. For instance, different areas around the world have a wide variety of population densities, weather, seasonality, even what vector species drive transmission. It'll take a different approach in different areas to successfully eliminate malaria. To answer these questions and more, we built a comprehensive spatial simulation of malaria that tracks people, mosquitoes, the parasite, over large distances over time in varying contexts. We use the latest available data for temperature, rainfall, humidity, population, all as inputs into our model. Given that this data is very representative of what actually occurs on the ground, it can help guide our campaigns. And then in this detailed local environment, you can actually try different campaign designs, different coverages of bed nets, different types of bed net, anti-malarial drugs, vaccines, and then you can actually combine all these different things and see what their effect is in that detailed setting. We can then run many, many simulations sweeping over coverages of different interventions, efficacies of different interventions, try out better bed nets, better vaccines, and see whether or not elimination occurs for that simulation. You can then assemble all these different simulations together to create a probability surface of, erad of eradication. You can then use this output to design a campaign whose success is robust to uncertainty in coverage and efficacy of your interventions. There are multiple variables that we want to test out within our model. We can determine which ones are most important. For example, are temperature fluctuations the most important? Or what about the immunology assumptions that we have? We can find the one that makes the biggest impact for eradication. Once we have identified various parameters that are very important to the model, that the model is very sensitive to, we can identify new areas of future research. In addition, we can find weaknesses of malaria, areas that we can take advantage of to create new campaigns to eradicate malaria. But to make our model really useful, what we can do is not just create models that are used for research purposes, but actually a model that can support campaigns that are going on in progress. In the future, the model will allow for input of actually what happens on the ground and use that input to drive and figure out what needs to be done right now. We are designing software that can be used in a lot of different settings, between public health professionals, in the field of epidemiology, biology, immunology. You can see the software behind me. It has the ability to visualize a lot of information very quickly. In addition, it allows researchers to compare their results in various different settings. The epidemiological modeling here at Intellectual Ventures is a powerful tool to understand malaria, look at new research questions, design campaigns, and figure out how to actually eradicate malaria.